Self-control is a struggle for many people, especially when it comes to food. Although breaking the cycle of overeating can be challenging, there are many ways to kick this habit for good. And in this video, we're looking at seven effective ways to stop overeating. Number one, get rid of distractions. Whether it's working through lunch in front of your computer, guilty, or sitting on the couch uh, with a bag of chips watching your favorite TV show, eating while distracted affects a lot of people. While this habit might seem harmless, it may be causing you to overeat. A review of 24 studies found that being distracted during a meal led people to consume more calories at that meal. It also caused them to eat more food later in the day compared to people who paid attention to their food while eating. Number two, know your weaknesses. Pinpointing which foods you have a particularly hard time limiting can help you decrease your chances of overeating. For example, if you have a habit of eating a large bowl of ice cream every night, stop keeping ice cream in your freezer. Preparing healthy options like sliced apple with peanut butter, hummus and veggies, homemade trail mix can help you make better choices when you're hankering for a treat. Another helpful tip is to keep chips, candy and cookies out of sight so that you aren't tempted to grab some every time you walk past. Number three, eat fiber rich foods. Choosing foods that are rich in fiber like oats, fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds uh, can help you feel full for longer and reducing the likelihood that you'll overeat. For example, one study found that people who ate fiber rich oatmeal for breakfast felt fuller and ate less at lunch than those who consumed cornflakes for breakfast. So snacking on nuts, adding beans to your salad, trying to eat vegetables at lunch and dinner can help uh, reduce the total amount of food that you eat. Number four, don't ban all your favorite foods. Restrictive eating patterns that ban all of your favorite foods uh, can make you feel deprived and drive you to binge on forbidden foods. Diets that concentrate on whole unprocessed foods are always best, but making room for an occasional treat is perfectly healthy. Swearing that you will never have a scoop of ice cream, slice of pizza, or piece of chocolate again is not realistic for anyone. Instead, focus on providing your body with mostly healthy, nutritious foods and still allowing yourself the freedom to have some treats when the occasion calls for it. Number five, slow down. Eating too quickly can cause you to overeat and gradually gain weight over time. Slower paced eating is associated with increased fullness and decreased hunger and can serve as a useful tool for controlling overeating. Taking the time to thoroughly chew food has also been shown to reduce overall food intake and increase feelings of fullness. Number six, keep a food journal. Keeping track of what you eat in a food diary or a mobile app uh, may help reduce overeating. Many studies do support this and, and I always recommend that people use uh, MyFitnessPal to track their calorie intake just for three or four days, just so they have an idea of how much they eat and how much they should be eating. Most people have no clue how many calories are in the most common foods they eat every day and they have no clue how many calories they should be eating and these are fundamental things that you should know. Number seven, get help if you need it. It's important to distinguish overeating from binge eating disorder. Binge eating disorder or BED is a serious eating disorder characterized by symptoms that include repeatedly binging on large quantities of food, a sense of loss of control during eating, and feelings of guilt or distress after a binge. It affects millions of people worldwide and is the most common eating disorder in the United States. If you feel that you might have binge eating disorder, it's important to get help. Speak with your doctor or another qualified health professional about treatment options. Overeating can be a hard habit to break, but you can do it. You just need to apply these tips one at a time to establish a new healthy routine. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. And don't forget to subscribe to Healthline's Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.